All right, and if you have a lot of land or you farm for profit and you're not really sure what to do with all that land, there is a conference that's out there to help you. This morning, I'm joined by James Decker. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for joining me. Yeah, happy to be here. Absolutely. So like I just said, if you have a lot of land, you're not sure what to do with it, there's a conference that's there to help. We're talking the 2024 Agriculture for Tomorrow conference. Tell me a little bit about what it's about. Sure. So this is our annual UP Agriculture Conference, and we try to make an event for all different types of people in terms of whether you're a commercial producer, farming for profit, or maybe you're just a homesteader or even a gardener. There's content, there's education that's available at this event for you. Right, so the content and education part of it, when people show up to the event, what can they expect? Breakout sessions, a big lecture, what can they expect? Sure, so we have four educational tracks, uh, and those are uh, targeted towards livestock, field crops, specialty crops, which is vegetables essentially, mm -hmm. and then homesteaders. And the homestead one is a little bit more general for folks that maybe aren't producing anything for sale, but um, we cover content across the breadth of agriculture. So the breadth of agriculture, what's the need for that up here in the UP? Um, well, agriculture is a big part of our economy um, and our communities here in the Upper Peninsula. Our production systems, you know, are, are quite diverse. We produce livestock, we produce forages, we have small vegetable farms, and so we really try, try to represent that diversity through the event. Right, and this event has these 16 different breakout sessions for big farming, small farming, homesteading. What's the benefit of having these smaller groups? Um, well, you know, I think it allows us to really cover uh, that diversity of topics. So the comment that we hear very often is, man, I wanted to attend this session, but I would, had to go to that session. <laughs> so um, it is tough to choose uh, what's most appropriate for you, but it's just a reason to show up again this next year and maybe catch something that you didn't catch last year. Right. So these sessions are concurrent. How long are each session? Uh, they're just about an hour. Um, in the morning, we'll start actually with a keynote presentation. We're really excited this year to have Dr. Uh, Russell McNahi, former NMU professor and a really renowned UP historian, talking about the history of agriculture in the Upper Peninsula. Um, so we'll kick off with that, and then we go right into the concurrent uh, educational tracks so people uh, can experience that. And we offer a great lunch um, and also a vendor uh, uh, show as well. Right, so Russ McNaghy is coming to talk, and I know that that's part of something a little bit bigger here because it's the 125th anniversary of the MSU Upper Peninsula Research and Extension Center. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah, we're super excited. yeah and he's coming to talk, and it's going to be a great time. And we're going to talk about actually the sponsors of the event or the exhibits that you can have. What's the benefit of having a table there? Sure. So uh, organizations can come and have a vendor's booth, uh, vendor's booth at the conference, and the advantage is that they get to uh, interact with folks across the spectrum of agriculture in the UP. So you may be, you know, a commercial vendor that is serving uh, producers or homesteaders or gardeners, but we also have a lot of nonprofit organizations, a lot of public agencies that mm -hmm. serve these individuals, um, and it's just an opportunity for them to help folks understand their programs, their services, and in some cases even maybe uh, make a sale. Great. Awesome. There's a lot to look forward to, and we do have some information up on the screen now for the 2024 Agriculture for Tomorrow conference. It's at Baydenock Community College, right in the Joseph Ehrman Center. It's $30 to register by mail or online, $40 at the door after February 10th. So if you register early, there is a bit of a bonus right there. Walk-in registration is cash or check only. And we also have a website we'll put up on the screen now for registering online, both for a guest or as a sponsor or to get a table, and we'll put all of this information on our website, UpperMichiganSource.com, or the TV6 and Fox UP mobile news app. Make it real easy for everybody to go on there and check it out. I want to thank you again for coming in this morning, James. Absolutely. It's great to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. Great to have you. Pavlina, it's back to you.